What's up sub fans around the world and welcome back to another video. This is an exciting one because I have the Turbo 6 behind me and we have some awesome work to do today. I'm really really excited about this. So let's just get it started. So you can see I have already started this work right here. So I have removed some heat shields above the turbo and around it. And then just spray down all of these bolts with some uh, rust solvent so they loosen up. And this is the typical stuff that people do, just spray them down and then try to loosen them. So the, the spray needs to be working. So I did this last night and it has been sitting for a couple of hours just overnight so it really has sucked it in and loosened all of that rust that is sitting so now I hope that we can loosen it so here we have the downpipe and on all the V6s on Saab V6s there is a problem with with heat in the engine bay and here you can see why so the the downpipe and turbo is covered with heat shields, but still it produces a lot of heat. So what we are going to do today, we are going to do an open downpipe and we're gonna... There is two catalytic converter on this car. Here we have the first one that's up in the engine bay. This is the worst one because a catalytic converter generates a lot of heat and stops the flow. So we're gonna open up this one and just remove all of the mesh that's inside so there will be no cat like a catalyte but we will do it the budget way so we will not add another pipe but we are just going to remove the inside of the catalytic converter so it's pure open. So I have just went ahead and removed the O2 sensor right here and the other O2 sensor that's down here. And underneath the car I have sprayed down the mid pipe as well. So I hope you can see but it sits with three bolts up there. And then this flex pipe is really old and beaten up. So we're gonna change that one. And there you have the second cat. And there you have the, the second and where it bolts up. These bolts is always super super rusty so we need to remove them. And this down pipe and mid pipe are actually really good in dimension so they are like 2.75 inches which is really good so you really don't need to go like 3 inch downpipe it doesn't do that much of a difference so it's 2.75 so we're gonna just reuse it and do it the simplest way possible so we're just gonna replace the parts that need to be replaced for a better flow. So new flex pipe and this second cat is going to be replaced with a race catalytic converter so we have a really nice flow. So there is like three big reasons why we do this. One it's to remove the heat from the engine bay and get it underneath the car. Two, to get a better flow in the exhaust because the catalytic converters, the two of them, stops the flow quite a bit. And three, to get that amazing V6 sound so the engine could just breathe free freely. So there is three really good reasons to do this. So now let's go ahead and try to undo this. I have never unbolted this but I think it's these three nuts right here one bolt right here and then the three underneath so I'm just gonna remove the 
meat pipe first and I have prepared I was thinking of doing a 3 inch mid pipe but I think I just will replace the parts that that needs to be replaced instead but we will see so fast forward a little bit I have never done this job before myself and I thought it would be a little bit easier than it really was but you really need to take your time and remove as much as possible and then a little bit of violence and you will get it out because it is super tight and the bends of the downpipe because it goes down here and then around and down so it's really not a like fluid motion to get it out but you have to like twist and turn it and as you can see remove this heat shield right here the heat shield that's over and I remove the brackets that sits down here this one so this one sits on the side right here this has to go as well and this one is attached to the heat shield down here so it's super <laughs> annoying because you can't get to it when the downpipe is here this little screw down here was really hard to get to so I think it will be a little bit easier to get it down again than it was to get it up and I don't know what person that has designed this because it sits like this I'm gonna try to show you the best I can So the downpipe sits something like this on the on the engine so you have the turbo up here and then this little bracket sits down here on the back side of the downpipe and then it's bolted up into the into the oil pan or the block of the engine so you can't really get to these bolts right here you have to like just feel them and uh, undo them and luckily enough that was pretty okay it was tight but it went pretty smooth but to get this out was just a nightmare so now the plan is as I told you before the diameter of this downpipe is really good so you have 79 millimeters which is bigger than 3 inch downpipe and then it goes down to like I don't know what it is here something like 67 or something like that it's like pretty close to 2.75 inches so it's a really good downpipe just the size of it so as you can see here I just removed it then I drilled out and punched out the inside of the cat so now it's empty completely empty and the material is right here so I just used like a screwdriver and punched it and I drilled a couple of holes in it and now it's out and you can see the material right here how tight this is this is what the air flows through so you know it really breaks the exhaust gases and here we have the new one so the mid pipe Okay, so the game plan right now is we have removed the inner belongings on the first cat. So now we have a flow just straight through. So we're going to reassemble the downpipe and I'm going to do that without filming. I can show you the details later on, but we will install that back. 
Then we will cut up the mid pipe so you can see the new parts that I have. So this was a little worn out. This is very much fresher. So new flex pipe, that little piece right there. And then we're gonna change the second cat to a high flow race cat. So we can have a look at this. So you see how tight this is. And this is the race cat. I don't know if you can see it. So you can basically like see right through it. So you know the flow is going to be really good. And if you have this cat down here, you will pass inspection in Sweden. Just drive the car really hard for a while so you get some real real heat into the cat. So now we're gonna remove the problem part with the big heating center right here. So now the heating center will end up being underneath the car where it doesn't do as much damage as it does inside of the engine bay. So this was a real nightmare to get out but still manageable. You just gotta take your time and wiggle it back and forth and remove as much as necessary. So now I'm gonna take some time, put on the headphones, take a deep breath and install it back. pipe is fully installed again. I put some heat wrap on it since it had a tiny bit of heat wrap or like dampening inside of it. So now we got a nice layer of dampening or heat wrap outside of it and some extra heat wrap around the already heat shield that's on the down pipe. So now it's gonna really keep the heat away from the engine bay I hope so turned out really nice and the heat wrap actually looks like it should be like the OEM wrap that's a little bit everywhere so really nice touch and I will show you underneath the car so it's going to be pretty close now but this was the bracket that I was telling about earlier so it sits with two bolts on top of the downpipe right here. So it's really hard to get to. What I did when I had the downpipe out was that I cut away some of the heat shield that covered the edges right here. It will not spread some excessive heat anyways, but it makes the installation a little bit easier to reach the bolts or the screws. So now everything is in and as I said it matches the OEM heat shields pretty good which is a nice touch up. So now we're gonna start with building the mid pipe.
now first what I did I bolted down the first bend so we get where it's going then I bolted everything in and then just puzzled everything together so right now it's tech welded in place and it looks really really good so now I'm just carefully going to remove everything drop it down and then fully weld it outside the car and then we are ready to assemble and the first test start So that's the wrap. Just kidding. Uh, the mid pipe is also heat wrapped or exhaust wrap. It has heat shields all over this pipe, but now it has the, this extra, so it follows the theme of the down pipe and down almost all the way to the to the cat, and that's really nice. You really don't need anything right here. It's just the flex pipe and then back. So we got the race cat installed, everything welded. So now just bolt it into the car. So this is what it looks like completed. Everything back together again. You can see the heat wrapped down pipe goes down there. Then it goes down to the mid pipe, hangs really tight up in there. So, this will be really good. The only thing left right now is the sound test. So, I reckon this will be pretty loud, but hopefully, not disturbingly loud. guys I hope you enjoyed it I thought that the sound was going to be a little bit louder I was prepared that it was going to be obnoxiously loud but this in my opinion is very very manageable 
and when you put on the throttle you just get that just extra like mm. that you that you really want from the V6 engine so really happy about how this turned out and we will see how everything plays out together with the tune and everything I bet it's going to be a little bit more aggressive than it is right now but anyways I think it came out amazing and the cost for this okay the exhaust wrap was about like 30 euro or something like that and the race catalytic converter was, was uh, around 100 euro so 130 euro and you get better flow you remove the heat from the engine bay which is the most important thing so the longevity of the car and the engine and everything will keep up longer and they say that the exhaust manifolds on the V6 engine is uh, very sensitive so this is also a good thing just remove every heat from the engine bay put it underneath the car and get a ton more flow and better sound so really happy about how this came out so super good in the next video we will do a little test drive so you can hear the sound and feel it out maybe do a little drive-bys to hear the sound of the car which is super good right now so thank you guys so much for watching leave a comment down below if you have any questions please subscribe to the channel it means a lot to me and I will see you in the next one. Bye.